UFC 299 O'Malley versus Vera 2 takes place this weekend. This card is absolutely stacked. We've got your MMA Casuals Guide coming up next. Stay right here. Let's start as we always do with the main event of the evening. We'll start with the red corner, the UFC's Bantamweight champion, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Welcome to the Sugar Show. One of the UFC's biggest stars, the new Bantamweight champion, Sean O'Malley, is back and ready for his first title defense. O'Malley, of course, won the championship back at UFC 292 in August when he TKO'd former king Aljamain Sterling. O'Malley's MMA career has been flawless so far, except for his one lone blemish, a 2020 loss to his opponent this weekend, Cheeto Vera. After taking a leg kick from Vera, O'Malley experienced the rare foot drop. He couldn't walk on his injured foot, which eventually led to a TKO finish for Vera. O'Malley has somewhat jokingly said that the loss doesn't count, and he's looking to get his revenge. Stylistically, O'Malley is a long, rangy, awkward counter-striker with serious power. Let's see how he fares this weekend against his rival, Marlon Cheeto Vera. Ecuador's Marlon Chito Vera is fighting for a UFC title for the first time in his career. Stylistically, Chito is an anomaly. He's a very calm striker who oftentimes finds himself getting outstruck on the numbers only to find a huge strike that either drops or finishes his opponent. Many fans think that the number 5 ranked Bantamweight is getting somewhat of an undeserved title shot due to his rivalry with O'Malley. He's getting that shot over guys like number one ranked Marab Davalishvili and number three Corey Sandhagen, who recently defeated Cheeto Vera last year. Cheeto looks to become the UFC's first Ecuadorian champion. Guys, bad blood in this main event. I absolutely cannot wait for this one. The co-main event sees a passing of the torch type fight at lightweight as longtime UFC veteran Dustin Poirier takes on the French newcomer Benoit Saint-Denis in a five-round fight. Dustin the Diamond Poirier is back in the UFC octagon for the 30th time. The former interim lightweight champion has fought the who's who of UFC featherweights and lightweights. He's fought against Conor McGregor three times, Justin Gaethje twice, Max Holloway, Habib Nurmagomedov, Michael Chandler, Charles Oliveira, and many, many more. Stylistically, guys, Poirier is a well-rounded fighter as you would expect from a 30-fight UFC veteran. He's been in countless wars and has been a top five mainstay for years now in the lightweight division. In his last fight, he fought against Justin Gaethje back in July. Poirier was knocked out cold with a brutal head kick, leaving many fans wondering if we're finally seeing the decline in the Diamond's career. That question will be answered this weekend as he faces off against the 28-year-old French phenom, Benoit Saint-Denis. The God of War, Benoit Saint-Denis brings his five-fight UFC win streak into the cage with him this weekend against his toughest opponent yet. Saint-Denis is a former French Special Forces soldier who brings a very aggressive style with him into the octagon. A 13-1 career record, with all 13 wins being by stoppage, Benoit Saint-Denis is an absolute finisher for sure. It took him just 1 minute and 30 seconds to knock out Matt the Steam Roller Frivola last November, and he wasted no time calling out Poirier. Old Guard versus the New Wave, this fight is sure to be fireworks from start to finish and is on many people's shortlist for potential fight of the year. The rest of the main card is absolutely stacked as well. We will see a fan favorite fighter in the Trailblazer, aka Big Mouth, Kevin Holland. As he welcomes a man who needs no introductions, but he's a UFC newcomer nonetheless, London, England's very own MVP, 
Michael Venom Page. Former title challenger and world jiu-jitsu champion Gilbert Durinho Burns takes on an Australian prospect, the very dangerous 16-2 Jack Della Maddalena. And finally, the main card opener, we have former UFC Bantamweight champion Pyotr Yan taking on the 26-year-old Chinese phenom Song Yadong. Luckily for us, the action doesn't just take place on the main card. We have an absolutely stacked prelim portion as well. We will see the UFC's number five ranked heavyweight and absolute my boy, Curtis Razor Blades versus the number seven ranked Brazilian, Dialton Almeida. Caitlin Sermonara, AKA Caitlin Chukagian takes on Macy Barber in another veteran versus prospect fight. Polish standout grappler Mateusz Gamrot faces off against former world champion RDA Rafael Dos Anjos. Long time UFC veteran Pedro Munoz is on this card. And of course, we will also see the absolute madman, another my boy, Michel Pereira. UFC 299 O'Malley vs. Vera 2 takes place this Saturday, March the 9th at the Kaseya Center in Miami, Florida. If you guys enjoyed, please help support the channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. Every single click helps. You can also follow us on Instagram at D107MMA, same way as it's spelled on this channel. We appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.